Greetings, viewers, and welcome to another episode of The Collection Crib. I am your host, Tyler Cloud. Today, we're going to be looking at one of the weirdest and, when I was a child, most annoying things in my collection, the Nickelodeon Time Blaster, or as I just like to call it, the Nickelodeon Alarm Clock. Now, this thing, I mean, 90s all around. This thing came out at the golden age of Nickelodeon, the original Splat. Um, the slime zigzag here, uh, nothing too special about it except this was my alarm clock for years and to be honest, when I was a kid in my early teens, I hated this thing because like I said, original alarm clocks would go bam, 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 I mean annoying, but this thing sets annoying to a whole new level. And what I mean by that is, is that when you set this alarm, it had four sounds that were literally sounds you don't want to hear in the morning. And I'll get to those in a second. But let's go over the clock really quick. Now this is a AM FM alarm clock. And if you look in the back here, it has the settings. Let me just zoom in there a little bit. It's got AM, FM settings, and you got your alarm settings, your clock settings, the typical stuff you need to set your alarm. So let's see, let me check the time. It is 9.22, so I'm going to set an alarm so that I can give you guys an example of how this thing sounds. Let's see, 9.27, 9.23, okay, that'll give me some time. So when you want to set the alarm, for instance, if you want to hear the sounds, you just set the settings to either the horn, the cuckoo clock, the spring, or the tiny signature, like nick, 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 nick sound. But if you want to hear the radio, you'll, you'll just turn into the, um, the note here so that you'll be able to hear the radio instead of all those weird sounds that Nickelodeon installed into the clock. So really quick, let's just get into an example. Like when you want to hear the alarm, or excuse me, not the alarm, when you want to hear the radio, you'll just press the button. Then you can just turn it off by pressing the red button, and that will sound the alarm if you if you set it to the note. And if you set it to any of the other um, sounds, the nick, the spring, the cuckoo clock, and the horn, um, and when you set it to alarm on, that's what you're going to hear. So, like, for instance, if you set it on to the horn, you're going to hear the horn. If you set it to the cuckoo clock, you're going to hear the cuckoo clock, spring, the Nickelodeon, nick, 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 etc., and also, there's a little slime um, light here that when you turn it on, I'm actually going to turn off the lights so you guys can see it a little better. Oop, wait a minute. There we go. That's a little better. You can turn on the slime. You can turn off the slime. And by the way, it's not real slime. When I moved to, uh, to my new house a few years back, uh, actually the first house I was in, the alarm... Um, zigzag slime thing here broke off and I was pretty upset about that but I was able to super glue it together and it, it still lights up pretty good you know it's not real slime it's just plastic you know thankfully it didn't spill out or anything you know it's just plastic so I'm gonna make the alarm go off I'm actually going to put the light back on actually you know what I'm just gonna leave it off so you can see the slime um, flicker on and off but like I said, if you want to switch it to the alarm, you just go to the note. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to go to the um, Nickelodeon theme song. And then shortly, there's a demonstration that'll play all of the songs. But you won't hear all the songs when you uh, turn on the alarm. Like I said, the alarm will just play one tune, not all of them. I'll play all of them really shortly. Actually, let me speed up the process a little bit. Just, well, it's kind of too late now. I'll have to go click, 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 click. It'll take a little while. Um, but this alarm came out in 1995. It was released by Nickelodeon. Um, let's see. I don't see any other um, uh, licensed creators. But there you go. Nickelodeon Time Blaster. Uh, made in China, um, you can plug it in or you can put in those old school um, block batteries, I forget what they're called, leave a comment down below if you have the better name for them, or if you know the those type of batteries, I'm not a battery guy. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the alarm is up, 
I set it for 927. It's going to go off shortly. And we're going to hear that signature Nickelodeon tune. So you just have to be patient with me a little bit. And then shortly, I'm going to give you a demonstration of all the sounds that it comes with. Now, really quickly, if I can explain this really quick, there's another alarm clock like this that has more tunes. And if I ever find that, I'll, I'll, I might possibly make a video of that too. But this is the one I grew up with, and it was really cool. My mom was able to pick up another one. And, oh, here we go. Yep, pretty simple. And personally, that was, that's the uh, that's the tune I'd rather set it for because all the other three are pretty annoying. But anyway, I had uh, a version like this when I was a kid, and me and my cousin had so much fun just trying to race for the alarm. I don't know why we were just goofy and we were just racing to see who can turn off the alarm first. Um, and we destroyed a lot of things in the process just trying to get to the clock. <laughs> but. I had it as a kid, and I think we pretty much destroyed it. And recently, my mom, uh, let's see, not recently, but a few years ago, my mom gave me a version of this one, too. And, you know, the only downfall is, is that when I was moving, the zigzag slime thing broke off, and I was able to super glue it together. But other than that, you know, it's just a nice alarm clock. Nothing too special, except if you're a Nickelodeon fan, this is like the golden age alarm clock of Nickelodeon in a nutshell. So now I'm going to give you a demonstration you just set it all the way down if you want to hear all the sounds and instead of just showing you the alarm clock i'm gonna post some classic nickelodeon uh, clips to uh to show over the sounds so ladies and gentlemen here's all the sounds of the nickelodeon alarm clock and now holidays is it always the one to up there So yeah, that's pretty much the uh, Nickelodeon Time Blaster alarm clock. Like I said, it's it's just a typical alarm clock, just gimmicked like the golden age of Nickelodeon style. You know, just kind of that that vibe that the 90s had, that neon, you know, sparky zigzag look. Beautiful, classic, and annoying at the same time. But what can you say? That I wouldn't say... Annoying, but Nickelodeon in its golden age was the best. Ren and Stimpy, Rocco's Modern Life, Rugrats, the the game shows like Double Dare, Guts, you name it. And just looking back at this, it's just like, you know, good stuff. I'm gonna do the radio one more time. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on this episode of the Collection Crib, the Nickelodeon Time Blaster. And if I if I ever if excuse me, if I ever find the alarm clock that has the other um, tunes, I think there's like four extra ones. I think there's like a steam whistle. Um, I can't. Forget, I don't remember the other ones. But if I do find it, I'll make another video, and they should go like under here as well. <clears throat> but that's pretty much it. So I thank you for being a part of the Nickelodeon Time Blaster, and I will see you all next time, and this has been Tyler Cloud. Featuring a variety of vendors focused on women's services, like beauty. Signing off.